Hi, this is Michael Tallis with the Tallis team. I'm standing in front of our latest listings on 1004 Greenwood uh, Drive in uh, Menlo Park. It's part of the uh, uh, suburban park neighborhood. And let me turn the camera around and uh, I'll show you inside the house. And after that, uh, I'm going to drive around, show you a little bit around the neighborhood and uh, uh, we're right next to the flood park. It's a county park, so I'll show you that and uh, the schools. So it has a two-car garage, really nice front lawn. So the road over there, that direction, <laughs> is uh, Bay Road and the other side of Bay Road is Atherton already so I'm walking to the house we have a little kind of entry area and this corridor leads us to the bedroom to all the bedrooms and to our left is the living room with the fireplace so let's start here so continuing uh, forward it's the dining area but first let's go back to the bedrooms so um, this house is three bedroom one bath so the only bathroom is in the hallway so I would say any of them can be a master bedroom you one more angle so continuing to bedroom number two So, and the very back bedroom was used by current owners as their master. And it has a view into the backyard. So back to the hallway and uh, the bathroom. With uh, with a shower over tub. And 
we're back to the dining area. Also with a nice view of, uh, of the backyard. And it's well connected with the living room. Kitchen. And uh, the kitchen is connected to the garage. It's a corner pantry here. So we in preparation for sale, uh, we put epoxy on the uh, on the floor. So, and this house has interesting location for the water here. Give me a second, I'll show it to you. Laundry area is here, furnace, and the water heater is all the way up there. So it's out of the way; doesn't take any extra space down below. Yeah, it's pretty cold day, so the furnace is running right now. Sorry about the background noise. So this living room is an addition. It actually can be potentially be a bedroom. Has a, a closet, has a heater. And so my understanding is potentially can be used as uh, not only as a public area, but as a bedroom. So continuing out. So now let's go into the backyard. Uh, it's nicely paved. And this structure that you see all the way in the back over here, it's uh, some utility containers in the um, flood park. So spacious yard and let me show you the house, how it looks from the backyard. So if we continue to the left hand side of the house there is a little utility yard so that's where the owners are storing their garbage cans and out of the way so and another view of the backyard So now let me get back to my car and I'll drive around and show you around the neighborhood. So before we start driving, I wanted to give you a little panorama of the street. So this is Suburban Park sign and here it's really mature landscape, a lot of big trees. And, uh, 
Then here is uh, Bay Road. And as I mentioned before, the other side of Bay Road is uh, Atherton. So now let's start our neighborhood tour. So pulling away from the house and uh, this neighborhood was built, uh, started building up in early 50s. And since then, a lot of homes were modified. Uh, some of them are uh, were originally pretty small, like this one, three bedroom, one bathroom. And that was typical for the time. But since then, you see a lot of homes were uh, extended and upgraded. So there is a lot of new homes in the neighborhood. Uh, so it's a really nice location. Um, it's uh, next door to, as I mentioned before, Atherton. And uh, it has really good schools and really easy commute to some of the best employers in the area. So it's really close to Facebook, Google headquarters, uh, Stanford, and uh, many other locations. And uh, if you want to go to Redwood City, companies like Box. Uh, it also uh, pretty close to the uh, train station uh, here in Menlo Park. And it's not that far if you want to go to Redwood City uh, train station and Redwood City downtown. And you see some of the homes look nothing like uh, they used to be to look originally. <laughs> so, um, just to give you an idea of how this neighborhood uh, looks and feels. And there is a lot of people walking, uh, a lot of dogs, uh, a lot of kids. And the schools are really nice here. So the elementary here as, uh, is and Sinal Elementary, uh, Hillview Middle, and Menlo Atherton. So uh, we'll drive around the neighborhood and then I'll uh, drive you to schools and kind of just to give you an idea of how they look. So we're back to Greenwood. So from here to uh, elementary school or to high school is definitely something that you can bike to. And uh, middle school is the only school that is on the other side of El Camino and you potentially may want to uh, drive there if necessary. So we're back to Bay Street and let's drive through um, Flood Park. School commuters. <laughs> so what's interesting about this park, and probably the most annoying thing to me is that the dogs are not allowed. It's, it has a baseball field, it has tennis courts, picnic areas, a really nice recreational area. But if you're a dog owner, you won't be able to uh, bring your pets here. So that's one of the picnic areas here and continuing uh, further into the park plenty of parking here too There is a playground here. So, yeah, unfortunately I can't get any closer with without getting out of the car. And this is the baseball field in front of us. Well, 
Looks like it's closed for the season. So, let's continue. And let's go to the schools. So we're continuing on Bay Road by Flood uh, by Flood Park, and we will be turning on Ringwood, and uh, shortly we will be at Menlo Atherton High. So this way we're approaching uh, Menlo Atherton High School, and let's drive through. So this way we'll get a little feel for the layout. It's, uh, this school has a lot of ground. It's, it's a large campus. And, uh, starting with administrative building and then continuing um, all the way through. So this school is part of Sequoia Union High School District and includes schools in places like Redwood City, Menlo Park and uh, other than that, the, key, the kids that are coming to this school. So administrative building is here on the left and the Performance Arts Center is behind it. From here, turning right to go to Encino Elementary. We're on Ringwood and turning right on uh, Middlefield. high school again. Coming towards Encino Elementary School, it will be shortly on the left. Let's come in and uh, drive a little bit around. This is administrative building here. So and from here we'll continue to the middle school, Hillview Middle School.
So it's uh, a little longer drive. We have to get to the other side of El Camino. So uh, I'll see you when we'll arrive. We're almost at middle school. Hillview Middle. So now let's go back to the house. This way we're passing the flood park again and uh, soon we'll make a right turn on Greenwood and we will be back to the house. Welcome back. So this is Michael Tallis with the Tallis team. If you want to live in this house, uh, give me a call. My contact information is down there below in the description. Or if you're interested in any property uh, in Menlo Park, would love to connect with you and answer all your questions. Till next time.